There were many birth injuries in the first generation machine, they are well known. Rehabilitation took a fair amount of time, and by 2010 we were offered the second, corrected generation of the SUV, in the arsenal of which appeared a version without a lower and with the torsion differential in the transfer case. And there was demand, painfully high in Russia, the degree of trust in the brand. Tuareg 2 shown with versatility, it could hit a traffic light no worse than the X5, show off remarkable premium like a Mercedes, and off-road easily wipe the nose of the Range Rover Luminary. However, this was not enough to outshine the competitors. Not enough simplicity. The Tuareg is acting up. Off-road, a car equipped with a reduction range of transmission requires great care. As before, from a low-quality Solarium, the tricks of the diesel injection pump are thrown out, although already without the previous radical consequences with chips. Already at low runs, the 8-speed automatic is pushing. And from electricians you can expect any tricks. It's true, it's mostly the little things. However, one should not think that we got a hopeless patient today. Rather, on the contrary, it is very promising, since all the misfortunes in the second generation of the car are less and less common with each subsequent year of production. In Russia, with the exception of the hybrid, did not take root, all of its engines have proven themselves well. And both V6 diesels, and AV6 gasoline, and AV8 gasoline are considered the most successful and suitable for a 2.2-ton car. And with the leaking front crankshaft oil seal, all V6 engines have sinned with this, do you really scare anyone here? Often, problems with the gasoline pump and the timing chain drive in the gasoline 6 annoyed. But in the context of the relatively low cost of solving such diseases, even they seem like nothing. Still, it's better to think positive. About the brakes, for example, or about the bodywork. It doesn't matter that the brakes often squeak, especially when reversing. This is fine, but they do their job well. And who will be upset by the peeling chrome of the exterior trim? The car is no longer new. The main thing is that the paintwork itself is not one of the weaklings, it lasts a long time. Inside, though, things are different. If we get lucky, but crickets appear even in such, almost representative, cars. Squeaks and crackles, however, are less surprising than the alarming pulsation of signaling devices. Is it here? There is a lot going on with electricity. The operation of numerous sensors, the failure of heating, spontaneously changing the position of the seat. Anything happened. But this, in fact, is not the reason for refusing to buy a Volkswagen Touareg. In general, the car is good and worth the money in the secondary market. This is an axiom that does not require proof. Don't bother looking for keyless versions. He is an outright lazy person, and is often in no hurry to work on demand. But the key is fine. If buying a car is inevitable, the main thing is to check the condition of the air suspension, as soon as this takes place, with specialists. Repairing it later is more expensive, and it's better to completely abandon pneumatics, although it makes the ride more comfortable and nobler. If the air bellows just let through at the connection somewhere, it's not so bad. Here, replacing the compressor will make you poorer by more than 100,000 rubles. Yes, and they break, as a rule, in the coldest. Well, you know what we mean. In a word, as many have understood, Tuareg is an enviable car, but it is not considered trouble-free. In services, he is an honored guest. Mechanics love him for the complexity of the design, which, in turn, attracts good investments in the auto industry. Transmission. The 8-speed Eisen automatic is good for everyone, but on versions with the most powerful engines, by the time it reaches 50,000 kilometers, it can start to twitch when switching. This is usually caused by the habit of jerking off from a traffic light. Often, flashing the box helps, but in advanced cases, you will have to change the solenoids and flush the unit, up to 100,000 rubles. Among the units with a limited service life, the front axle gearbox is also listed. Engine. The 3.0-liter diesel engine is recognized as the most problematic. Not even he himself, but a high-pressure fuel pump, which is not reliable. Low-quality fuel further reduces its resource. VW worked with the pump, even arranged a recall. But there are other problems as well. For example, with a leaking fuel filter or with the front crankshaft oil seal leaking oil, the 3.6-liter gasoline engine is considered optimal. Suspension Suspension is conventional spring and pneumatic. The first weak point was the front and rear pillars. They start knocking quickly, although it depends on the driving style. More trouble delivers pneumatics. Often, due to leaks in the system, the 
car rolls to one side. However, in later versions of the model, the node was finalized, the problem began to appear less frequently. Although the upgrade did not save many owners from replacing the compressor, body, misted headlights, even for a fresh Tuareg, are commonplace, as well as peeling chrome parts of the body trim. Often there were cases when, after washing in winter, door locks and handles froze. It was possible to open the door only by force, which led to breakage of the door rods. If we talk about corrosion, then the SUV looks good here. Rust spots can be hidden only under the bottom of the car. Electrician. Electronics are the weak point of the Tuareg. You will surely be haunted by even small, but annoying malfunctions, the elimination of which, in the end, requires considerable sums. Failure of the power window, heating of mirrors, seats, problems with the central lock. Due to the ingress of moisture, the parking sensors fail and the electric drive of the wipers breaks down. A sore point is the keyless entry system. 